my name is Ella Chinchi, and I'm here going to be showing you a little review of the Lego Millennium Falcon set. Um, I am so happy to get my hands on this set. Um, I give it all to my mother. She got me this set, and I'm very happy that she did. Um, so I will be reviewing this set and showing you all of the great features of it. So let's get into this. Uh, this kind of has a bunch of different parts, so let's start off with this part. Let's open it up, and here we have a little table that might be the table that they used for the chess. They also have some chairs right here. Here's the chairs on the other side. It has some cool prints. Here's the print, I mean, sticker. And yeah, a lot of this set has a lot of stickers. Luckily, this piece is a printed tile or a printed shield piece. So yeah, that's this part. Okay, here we have the cockpit right here. We have the Dio right there. We put him right here. And right here we have the little controls panel and all that kind of stuff. Um, we also have a nice p piece to fill the cockpit. I really like this. This is a printed piece if you ha haven't figured that out already. Um, and yeah, that's all for the cockpit. Oh, also, this slides right in right here. Um, it tends to fall off pretty easily, um, but yeah. Now the exterior, we have some of these little panels. We also have a blaster here, and um, we also have this part right here, which easily can be moved off like that to open that part. We also have some perfectly round tiles here, and overall the exterior is pretty nice. With a lot of decoration to make it look older, kind of worn down. Also, my one of my favorite parts about this is these tiles that make the hyperspeed part. And this gives a good touch to it, too. Um, a lot of the exterior is great. And here's also the panel. It's sad that we don't get a printed or even a stickered on the panel like we do on the on the UCS, but the UCS probably deserves it more. Um, so yeah, that's all for the exterior. This is how it looks all opened up, and you can see a little bit more of the interior. The only little, the only things underneath these two places that cannot be lifted up is this, which you can look on the bottom and see that that opens up a little place where you can walk down. Also on the other side, it has, um, on the other side, it has nothing, so you can't really open up anything, but there is a little wrench, as you can see right here. So you can put the wrench there. Also, I opened this up. You can put that put storage in here, close it back up, open it however you want. Um, that's pretty much all for that. Um, now I'm gonna go on to some play features. Okay, one of the play features you can do is if you press down right here, it will shoot a missile. Same with on the other side. I don't even know where those went, so it might be lost forever, but I hope not. Anyways, those that's one play feature. Um, you can also easily hold it up. It's quite heavy. You can just play around with it that way. Also, if you flip it over... You can see that there is a blaster inside. This can blast around. Well, it can't shoot anything, but it can has good. It has good movability, and it can does tend to fall off, like these parts. Also, this can hold these four things hold it up. So when you put it down, it holds it up. Also, some other interesting stuff is. Some other interesting stuff you can do with this is if you open this up right here it tends it's hard to keep this standing like this and you pull out this you can put little people in here and they can shoot stuff um and here's another blaster on the top this minifigure we have a classic r2d2 this is the same r2d2 in most sets and not much special about this there's the Right here, there's the the eye thing, and let me focus, and some details on the chest part, 
Um, I kind of wish they had some dual molded, molded stuff on the legs. But yeah, that's all for R2-D2. Um, this is much more interesting to R2-D2 than because it, I really like the chest. How the wiring and this is the same C3PO in most sets, um, except for that one poly bag that has the red arm C3PO. So yeah, this is C3PO. Going on to the next is Chewbacca. Um, he has a crossbow right here that can shoot. He also has his his really feels really good to like move your hand across it. Um, his chest. Uh, I really like this minifigure. I think this is a new fin, and I think I really like his hair, and his face looks very new, and he has a little poncho right here, and nice shirt details, nice pants details, and a nice silver blaster. Very interesting. Um, his back has some wrinkles, not much though. So yeah, that's for that's all for Finn. Going on to the next This minifigure. is probably one of my favorite minifigures. This minifigure is called Bulio. Um, I really like him. I like how he kind of has a jumpsuit almost. Um, his head is really interesting. Um, it's actually rubbery. So as you can see here, you can kind of move his thing as you wish. Um, not really, not really, but it's still rubber, so it's adjustable. <laughs> Um, but as you can see, if you move it, it will fall right back to its normal place. Um, so yeah, that's Bulio. Going on and to the next one. Oh, Calarizian. Um, I really like how they made his crossbow with the same silver gun as Finn. Uh, also, he has this weird staff. I don't know what that is, but I like his torso a lot. And it's interesting. It looks black on the pack, but then it is blue on the bottom. And yeah. He has two capes that are blue, and his hair is the same as the Emperor's. I'm pretty sure it's the same as the Emperor's, except it's black. I don't know, though. Oh, no, I'll search it up. Anyways, that's Lando Calarizian, and I think that's all the minifigures. On to the packaging. Okay, here's the packaging. It has the classic Star Wars with the Kylo Ren on the top. It says Millennium Falcon 9 Plus. Set number 75257, Millennium Falcon, 13, 15, 13, 1,351 pieces, building toy, and yeah, here's the minifigures, as you can see, Lando Calarizian, Chewbacca, C-3PO, Finn, Bulio, R2-D2, and Dio, shoot, I forgot to show him, so I will show him in just one. Okay, set. here is Dio. He is a one-piece figure. He actually only appears in three sets. He appears in the buildable Dio set, this set, and the Y-Wing, which I currently have the Y-Wing and this set. Um, tell me if you want me to review the Y-Wing, because I will gladly review the Y-Wing. Um, and yeah, so... This is Dio. I really, I really like it. I really like how they made him with the stud on the back and just his cone looking face. Oh, oops. And yeah, he has a wheel. He has, he's really good detailed. And yeah, he, uh, he lives in, well, in the set. You can put, you put him in the, the cockpit area. So yeah, that's Dio going on to the packaging. Sorry about Again. not reviewing Dio first. Um, here is the packaging going on to the back. Um, we have a forest biome in the background, which I really like. They made it really cool. Um, here's all the mini figures, and here's the set. We have a play feature where you can put a character in there and you can pull it out. You also can move the move the turret, move the turret underneath, and you can open up the storage, lay in the bed sit in the seat and you can open all it all it up right there and shoot the shoot the gun take the thing off and eat 
so yeah that was the packaging now going on to the now going on to the instructions Here's the instructions it is it, it has many pages um it actually has see it has 438 steps um here we have an ad for lego itself or lego life here we have an ad for more lego star wars sets here's all the minifigures of the sets here's all of the sets in that way um, ad for the lego skywalker saga the lego video game available on xbox one ps4 P pc nintendo switch lego games lego lucas films oh warner brother games td games 2020 all that kind of stuff i think this is coming out in october and yeah there you go that is the instructions um i think that's all for this and yeah thanks for watching this review um let me know if any of the things i mentioned in here you want me to review next because i will gladly review them and thanks for watching hope you enjoyed and peace out Bye. <laughs>